Hello. Sorry. Mag-hi lang daw siya before she leaves. Kasi kanina pa siya nag- gusto mag-hi. Or say hi to them na. Hi, hi Summer. <laughs> They, they're saying hi to you. Wait lang. Oh. Hi. 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 You say good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Oh, you wanna play with your clay na? Okay. You say bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> I will play. Okay. Thank wow, you, Summer. So Yun lang pala yun. Gusto lang niya magpa-expose. <laughs> so, so, wala siyang plano kayo nang iwanan ako. Eh. Good afternoon, Ms. LJ, and congratulations po for renewing your contact with Jimmy Artist Center. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. I'm so happy uh, to be still here. Uh, as a kapuso, and I'm happy to be with you guys this afternoon, and I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's safe. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. Um, I think I'm going on 17 years now that we as a kapuso. Um, it's very colorful, you know. I mean, uh, my life has been open naman to the public. <laughs> um, I've been open naman to my experiences in life. And um, GMA has been there for me ever since. So they're part of that very colorful life that um, I had. And actually, naalala ko talaga bigla yung rainbow colors na GMA. <laughs> diba? So parang ganun. Makulay ang buhay. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, it's, it's very heartwarming to still be here. Alam mo yun, after all these years. Um, hindi ko alam bakit pero parang last night ato or the other night parang may nagtag sa akin sa Instagram of um, an excerpt from Starstruck ganyan na video ganyan Tapos parang nakaka-reminis din talaga na uy grabe sabi ko ba't ang liit ng boses ko dyan <laughs> but um, sobrang nene ko pa nun and you know kapag nakakakita kasi ako ng mga ganong videos or photos it's it's hard not to look back you know uh, look back to the journey that you've had um, the experiences especially now that you don't get to work um, as much or i mean i mean be on the set as much parang syempre nami-miss mo rin yung mga taong halos araw-araw mong nakikita dati um But, siyempre, hindi ko rin naman gustong umalis at iwan yung mga anak ko sa bahay. So, uh, uh, grateful ako. Uh, in, in general, I'm so grateful. I am so happy. I am ano, very, um, at a certain point, it's very rewarding that you are still here. You are still family with the same family that introduced you to this industry. Mm-hmm. And for- Alam mo, lagi kong sinasabi, lagi namin na pag-uusapan ni Pao. Kasi ako, hindi ko na-experience na maging child actor. Alam mo yun? So, I always tell him na, paano ba noon? Pero sabi niya, ibang iba noon. Alam mo yun? So, um, <laughs> pero at the same time, we both agree na it's better for them to have somehow, kahit pa paano, kahit pa paano, to still have a, a private life. Mm. Yan yun yung magkaroon muna sila ng education. Pwede naman gumawa ng projects, pero on the side. But basically, mas gusto namin na magkaroon sila ng normal life muna. But it's different now eh. Kasi kahit naman hindi ka artista, there's social media, di ba? Mm. So parang medyo kahit pa paano, you are putting your life out in the open naman talaga. But kami kasi, especially, in, we're both in the same industry. So parang feeling lang namin, gusto namin both of them to have um, a certain uh, kind of privacy pa rin mm-hmm. as they are growing. Kasi yun yung comparison namin ni Pawe. Eh. I had my fair share of private life before I entered show business. Mm-hmm. I mean, hindi naman ako matanda na pumasok, but, you know, I, I was able to experience uh, school na normal, you know, uh, I was able to experience high school, I was able to experience 
college ng habang working. So, gusto namin ma-experience nila yung life. So, as much as possible, we would want, we prefer mm-hmm. na kung meron man, siguro yung hindi makaka, hindi magiging balakid sa pag-aaral nila at yung normal path sana nila. But, you know, kasi anytime naman eh, since we're in the business, if ever they would choose, di ba, to be part of the industry, I mean, mas gusto naman namin na i-guide namin sila kaysa i-prevent namin ah. sila, di ba? Parang si Aki ba nagpapakita ng interest sa showbiz? Dati, mahilig talaga siya mag-perform, like dance, dance, ganyan, when I bring him to GMA. But now, parang nagkaroon siya ng ano, ah, uh, naging conscious siya. Siguro kasi nagbibi na pa. So parang, mas na ano siya na parang kailangan yung ipopost yung picture niya is yung gusto niya. Ano mo yun? Yung gusto niya, hindi yung maayos. Basta dapat gusto niya. Parang ganon. Pero sanay na rin naman siya because we shoot sometimes from home yung mga social media projects namin and vlog, ganyan. Natututo na nga rin siya paano mag-shoot na yung vlog. Thank you and congrats. Um, while I am and I was in this industry, so uh, I think that's the best decision, you know. Um, lagi ko sinasabi when I portray characters, especially mga sa mga independent films where where I get to meet or get a glimpse of um, the different lives na I never knew existed, you know. Um, natututo ako as a person. Uh, so, marami rin akong natutunan eh sa career ko. So, as a person. So, it's one of the best decisions I have made in my life. Um, most challenging uh, decision that I made, siguro, uh, ano ba? Uh, I guess, I guess when it was becoming ano ba, difficult for me not to... Um, ah, wait, ito. The most challenging decision, always. Uh, it's not a one-time decision. Eh. The most challenging decision always is when I have to uh, choose between uh, time for my kids, my family, overwork. So I think as a mother, I think I will always have that mom guilt. But at the same time, syempre, you work naman for them. So it's always a challenge for me. Na, syempre, when it comes to career, we know naman, syempre, nasa showbiz ka. Um, maraming options. <laughs> Kahit na ikaw yung option A, maraming option B, C, D. Mm-hmm. So, um, yung opportunities, syempre, it comes and goes. Uh, so, yun lang. Yun, I think, hindi siya one time. Always, when when I would have to leave my kids to work, it's a challenge for me. Um... It depends. Parang sometimes naman kasi nakikita, oy, may mas bagay naman pala sa kanya. <laughs> Parang ganyan. Or, um, pag nakikita ko naman yung kids ko and I get to spend time with them, parang it doesn't matter na whether or not I accepted the project. Because, time passes by. I mean, they grow up. Eventually, when they're old enough, I have all the time in the world. I mean, hindi na, na siguro bilang, <laughs> I'm not sure if bilang artista pa, pero, kung ano man yung gagawin ko in the future when I have, or kami ni Pao, we have all the time to ourselves again, then, alam mo yun, meron na kami ulit time to do whatever we want. Um, sila, they will have their own lives. So, as much as possible, syempre gusto ko naman na I'm there, alam mo yun, I'm there to witness their milestones, ganyan. So, I mean, sometimes gusto mo sabihin, ay sayang, gusto ko sana gawin. But when you see your kids, it doesn't really take a toll as much. Mm-mm. I think ever since naman I became a mother, nag-iba talaga yung priorities ko. Um, it was really life-changing for me. Not that, um, ano ba, not that uh, 
it was difficult, you know. Um, talagang mahilig ako sa bata. Sobra. And I feel like I was meant to be a mother. Alam mo yun? Ganun talaga yung feeling ko. When I became a mother, I was really meant for this. Parang ganun yung feeling ko. Uh, so, syempre nung time na yun, kami lang ni Aki. So, the priority was Aki. But now that we have a family, a uh, whole family, the syempre priority first is really to uh, grow in faith. Uh, si God pa rin ang priority natin. You know, it's something that um, talagang mas nabigyan ko lalo ng importance ng pandemic, which dapat eh hindi. Dapat every single day, you know, pandemic or not. Um, and then my family. Diba? Yun, yun yung uh, second to the list, syempre, my family. Um, third, I guess, is um, ano ba? I think Uh, yung ngayon currently is to uh, finish my school kasi habang online it's one of the priority right now uh, and then ano ba fourth parang ang dami na ng fourth <laughs> parang oh, yeah. we can do okay. that top three kasi <laughs> Yung, yung two ko kasi is sila na eh, as a whole eh, siguro. So, uh, yun. Um, I guess, uh, now kasi rin, in, during this pandemic, we realized na we don't really need so much. You know, we only need our family, di ba? Um, Siyempre, we need our faith. Alam mo yung hindi ka na masyado nag-iisip ng ibang bagay. I mean, kung ano man yung other things that you think about, it's really just about your family, for your family, at naging, naging, ano ba, mas, mas nagkaroon ka lang ng laser eye focus on what is important. <laughs> Dahil online class, um, I, I was emailed by my former professor and um, gave me the news na informed me na the university was going online. So, uh, I took the opportunity, especially kapag, <laughs> kapag hindi na online, may traffic na. So, yung instead of like, let's say, three hours a day of school, magiging mm-hmm. more. So, syempre, I, I really want to be able to manage my time na hindi nawawala masyadong time ko for the kids. And also, syempre, may work then. So, yun. Slowly, slowly. I mean, um, hopefully soon I finish. Well, you know, um, Since it's uh it's still a pandemic, it's really difficult for everybody to really plan ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Um, so for now, actually, ang mga projects that we agreed and they are helping me with talaga is more of um mga short term projects, especially when it comes to uh endorsement, uh mga things that I can do from home and also yung mga tapings na maiksi lang because I cannot really leave the kids yet. Especially mm-hmm. right now na sobrang busy ni Pao din and yun yung dynamic kasi namin na parang we talked about it and we decided na parang okay, um we ha- we cannot leave na pareho tayong wala. Uh, someone has to be home for the kids. So, nauna yung project niya. So, maybe soon after naman mm-hmm. ng project niya. Kasi, it's gonna take up the rest of the year para matapos ni Pao yung project. So, maybe after that. Yun. Okay. That's good to hear. Congratulations again. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Jean. Next question naman po from Mr. Rocky Batara. Hello. Hello, LJ. Hello. Hello. Hi! First, nice to see you hello. again. Yes, nice to see you. And first of all, congratulations for renewing your contract being a Kapuso. Thank so you. my first question goes, how grateful si LJ bilang isang Kapuso? And why have you decided na 18 years ano, na Kapuso ka, na you decide na mag-stay as a solid Kapuso? Ah, uh, you know, GMA paved the way uh, 
for me to be in this industry. So, yun palang, I am very, very grateful to them. Um, and I've been always saying na GMA has really mm-hmm. been so supportive, not just of my career, but at the same time of my personal decisions, personal life. And that's something I really appreciate. That's something na uh, talagang importante sa akin because it made me mature, not just as an actor, but also as an individual, as a person. So, sinabi ko na to before na hindi kasi namin, hindi kami magmamature as an actor kung hindi kami nagmamature as a person. So, GMA has really brought a lot of uh, maturity in me. Um, it paved the way to uh, so many opportunities for me and for that I'm super, super happy and um, it's really a family for me. And follow up on that, ano yung consider ni, L- ni LJ na greatest achievement mo as a Kapuso artist and ano yung masasabi mo na best moment mo bilang isang Kapuso? Um, achievement when for for the network or as personally. As personal, as LJ. Siguro ano masasabi uh, mo na pinaka greatest achievement mo na naging kapuso ka. When it when it comes to career, sure, di natin may iwasan na we measure our achievements um by uh winning awards, you know, winning titles. Uh, but I guess yung achievement ko could also be measured by the growth um, as an actor. Yun. So, um, I don't think there will be an, uh, another genre pa. <laughs> Pero um, I'm looking forward, syempre din, uh, siguro sa age ko na rin to, if ever there's um, a hosting siguro na project, that would be nice. Uh, so it's something na hindi pa nila talaga ako nakikita, although I do more sometimes if they need a reliever, pag yung makasyon yung host or what. Um, but it's something that I look forward to doing in the future. So, aside from acting, syempre, um, and doing more projects and different challenging roles pa in the future, uh, yun yung isa siguro sa mga gusto kong magawa din as Kapuso. And then, um, I'm excited na we have new Kapuso stars and excited ako na hopefully makatrabaho ko sila at um, marami pa akong di nakaka- Actually, hindi. Mostly kasi naka-work ko na talaga sa Jimmy. Maybe kung old ka po star, maybe in a different project para medyo different light naman. So maybe different genre. Ganyan. Pero I'm so excited to have new, new, ano ba? New friends in the family, di ba? So, yun. You know, it's really difficult. Um, until now naman, it's really challenging, especially when you have like small kids. Um, mahirap talaga i-balance yung time. But I guess um, the whole point is uh, I always tell moms or other people, other women, that it's okay to ask for help. Kung kunwari, you're so busy, ganyan. Sometimes kasi sinasabi ko kay Pao na parang, Grabe, there's so much things to do, ganyan. But yun nga, siya yung isa sa mga nag-remind sa akin always that it's okay to ask for help, you know. Uh, we have house angels here in the house para tulungan ka, ganyan. Para magawa mo lahat ng responsibilities mo, na mga kailangan mo gawin. So I guess I'm gonna give it to them, you know. I'm gonna shout out to my helpers, to my family for always helping me and making it possible because without them, without Pau, I don't think it's really possible for me to be able to manage all these things that I love doing, you know. Everything for all the blessings that we have been receiving. 
I mean, the ba this is a very difficult time. Mm-hmm. And it's not easy to be going through a pandemic. You know, this is something that we never imagined that we would go through, the ba, ever in our lifetime. We're all shocked and um, being healthy, being able to breathe air is mm-hmm. a blessing. All right. Now, I, I've uh, perfectly seen you um, everywhere, uh, on, uh, of course, uh, on social media. Um, these things would practically make you very busy, but um, does GMA manage you quite nicely? Do they give you leeway if you need to have more time with your family? Is there like a certain arrangement for that? Oh, yes. You know, um, I have been open about it that I how much I appreciate GMA for being so supportive of the life decisions that you make. And um, ever since naman, um, when before when I wanted to continue my schooling, even if I just signed up a contract with them, they allowed me, you know, because they think that would um, ano ba, contribute to my well-being you know and they really supported it uh one of the top managed uh executives of the network even told me na oh tapusin mo yan ha ganon mm-hmm. um now they support us na even if paulo and i have contracts with them they support that um we cannot leave at the same time we cannot do lock-in tapings at the same time um one of the biggest um one of the biggest appreciation is they ask you what you want you know mm-hmm. they give you the freedom to choose which path you want to take and then mm-hmm. you kind of work from there um so every year usually every year or every every year again actually every year and then every time that we meet for renewal of contract they would ask you also what do you want to do this time you know what are the projects that you want to do um so they're very supportive with with everything that you want to do um before there was this time when i when i made the decision to stop doing sunday shows because mm-hmm. i wanted more time for my son mm-hmm. uh And then they supported that. Um, I needed time, more time after giving birth. They supported that because I need, I wanted more time with my kids. So they supported that. So they kind of give you the freedom to decide on uh, the path you take, uh, when to take it. You know, um, they give they give you choice. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's very important because choice is part of uh, growth and maturity. So that's why I always say that Jimmy has been part of my growth as a person, not just as an artist or as an, art, or as an actor. By the way, LJ, what course are you taking um, in college? Oh, I'm still trying to finish my economics course. So it's mm. still the same as before. Yon. But I haven't really finished it because I would stop every now and then because of uh, schedule, because mm-hmm. of having kids. So it's a crawl, but um, I'm happy doing it. Uh, mm-hmm. I love studying, so baka hindi halata. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I love studying. So it's something that also distresses me during mm-hmm. this time. I know there's a pressure, Shambra, for uh, when when it comes to homework and exams, but mm-hmm. uh, it fills up my mind in a very difficult time as well. But uh, just in case that you do actually finish that course, what would you plan to do um, afterwards? Like, uh, are you planning to put up a business um, as well? Yes, business is in the works. Um, mm-hmm. But at the same time, I remember Ia asking that, to me when we were doing Mars one time and then I told him maybe uh, ano ba? maybe in the future I'll be able to practice what I have learned in economics if if 
if maybe Paolo decides to run for politics or what. Yeah. But um sayang because um ano ba? because I'm in this industry already. When I was uh pursuing economics Mm-hmm. And I haven't had the chance actually to like explore other industries where I can really use what I have learned. Um, but it's a very exciting course for me because I really like it. Uh, so it's a lot. There's a lot of data in it. <laughs> so <laughs> medyo baka yon. Pero I really enjoy it. I really enjoy learning about um, our economics. Are your folks very supportive of, of that particular decision that you made? Nako, my mom. My mom has mm-hmm. been so supportive. And actually, that's her one condition before when I start, uh, when I joined Starstruck. That, okay, so you can join, but you have to finish your school. So I still have to keep my promise. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, this is actually off topic, but what would you like to... If ever it's not a condition for gaining weight, what would you like to eat after the pandemic? What? Uh, yeah. What's like your favorite dish, food in particular? Japanese food. Like, <laughs> I would want to be able to eat ramen and cooked freshly <laughs> right off the kitchen <laughs> yung mm. yung ako yung nagiinit <laughs> yeah but nga, because i don't i haven't perfected the soft boiled egg so it's one of my favorite things in around ah, and the, I also the first want... thing, three minute egg <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 so yun nga uh, Jap- japanese also syempre yung mga sushi and all so mm-hmm. i'm scared kasi to have it delivered kasi baka hindi fresh but yun i think japanese food we all miss japanese food here in the house <laughs> okay aside from that would you like to take your family someplace um in particular like a vacation to take some refuge rest and everything mm. Whoa, after the pandemic yes mm-hmm. well actually once once we can already fly uh out actually we can naman but we're just mm-hmm. looking for the right timing i would really mm-hmm. want to visit my mom in new york so uh that would probably the very first place we're gonna go to mm-hmm. when we get the chance to go on a trip and then japan <laughs> japan <pa rin. laughs> and have bonding yeah. time with the kids of course your mom Yes, yes. Ah, mm-hmm. Yes, because it's been a long time. Good thing our last trip was right before pandemic. As in, mm, all right. Right before, yeah, two months before. Okay. Now, what would you advise young girls who would want to have a career in show business? Like if they want to be an actress, what would you be your greatest advice to them? Uh, to probably um, have a strong relationship with God first and to never lose yourself along the way. Uh, it's a very complicated industry, you know. The, your, the product is yourself. Mm-hmm. So it's very easy to get lost along the way. And if you have God with you, uh, if you have family who supports you and guides you then i think you're safe <laughs> mm-hmm. and of course look for the right management as well of course naman i mean it has to be really something that is aligned to what you re- I, you there should be an alignment between what you want and what they want for you it's something mm-hmm. that i'm thankful for the GMA Artist Center gives you the freedom with like they would ask you kung um what you want to do uh what projects you would 
want to have, you know, but at the same time, they're gonna give you also the reality na hindi mo pwede yung sabihin ko, ah, gusto ko ako na lang yung mag-bubble gang. <laughs> Instead of Paola. That's not possible. But, you know, I mean, uh, it's very, it's very hard to, to find uh, people that you trust in this industry. So, when you get to find one or some, you know, keep them. All right. I've been and with Artie Center for a very long time already. Okay, that'll be all for me. And uh, thank you and congratulations, LJ. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kuya John. Last questions naman po from Mr. Chads. 